To this day, the causes of the Civil War are still debated. Was it just the moral issue of slavery? Or was it a matter of economics? What about political questions, such as states' rights or the extension of slavery to Western states? Whatever the causes, the outcome was unrivaled death and destruction. Over 600,000 died on both sides, and much of the South lay in ruin. Soon after Abraham Lincoln was elected president in 1860, southern states began to pull out of the Union. Between the opening cannon fire at Fort Sumter and the surrender at Appomattox, hundreds of battles were fought, many with no clear victor. Called the War of Rebellion by the North and the war between the states by the South, it was the war where brother fought against brother. It was the war that prompted Union General Sherman to lament that war is hell and Confederate General Robert E. Lee to make this solemn observation. It is well that war is so terrible or men would love it too much. It was the war where soldiers pinned their names to their uniforms so they would get a proper burial if they died in battle. It was the war where the advancements in weapons far outpaced the advancements in military strategy. It was the war where disease and starvation took a greater toll than did guns and sabers. It was the war where amputation became the most common form of medical treatment. It was the war that climaxed with the largest battle ever fought in the Western Hemisphere, the three-day battle that took place at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Finally, after four years, the guns became silent, and the North and the South began to forge a new relationship, a new relationship where slavery was outlawed and where the United States of America would be one nation indivisible.